You want to live longer? Maybe even forever? It's not just sci-fi anymore. The quest for longevity is heating up, and one of the hottest battlegrounds is a process happening inside your body right now. It's called cellular senescence. Think of it like this. Your cells are constantly dividing, creating new, healthy cells to replace old ones. It's how you grow, how you heal. But there's a limit. After about 50 divisions, a cell hits a wall. It stops dividing. It doesn't die. It just hangs around. This is a senescent cell, a zombie cell. Now, this process isn't all bad. In fact, it's a crucial defense mechanism. When a cell gets damaged, like from UV radiation or a nasty virus, senescence is like hitting the emergency brake. It stops that damaged cell from replicating and potentially turning cancerous. So in our youth, these zombie cells are actually our bodyguards. A few of them pop up. Our immune system swoops in like a cleanup crew, clears them out, and everything's fine. But here's the twist. As we get older, two things happen. First, we accumulate more damage, so more cells turn into zombies. Second, our immune system gets a little tired. The cleanup crew isn't as efficient as it used to be. So these zombie cells start to pile up. They're not just taking up space. They're actively causing trouble. They secrete a cocktail of inflammatory signals, like a grumpy old man yelling at everyone on his lawn. This constant low-grade inflammation, sometimes called inflammaging, is linked to almost every major age-related disease you can think of. Heart disease, arthritis, dementia, even wrinkles. They're basically poisoning the neighborhood, making the healthy cells around them age faster, too. So the billion-dollar question becomes, what if we could get rid of them? What if we could selectively eliminate these zombie cells? This is where the science gets really exciting. Scientists are developing a new class of drugs called senolytics. These are essentially zombie cell assassins. In animal studies, the results have been staggering. Old mice treated with senolytics didn't just live longer. They lived better. Their fur got thicker, their hearts were stronger, their kidneys worked better. They could run farther on their little treadmills. They basically got a new lease on life. Human trials are already underway, and the early results are promising. We're looking at potential treatments that could one day not just slow down aging, but actually reverse some of its effects. Imagine a pill that could clear out the cellular deadwood, reducing your risk of age-related diseases and literally making you feel younger from the inside out. We're not talking about immortality here, not yet anyway, but we are on the cusp of a revolution. A future where aging gracefully doesn't just mean accepting decline, but actively managing our biology to extend our health span, the number of years we live in good health. So the next time you think about aging, don't just think about wrinkles. Think about the hidden battle happening in your cells and the scientific heroes who are trying to turn the tide. The zombie apocalypse inside you might just be preventable.